if you don't know Chef Andre Falls, we got it locked with Celebrity Rooftop, Grace Dirk Festival 2016. <laughs> 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 Hi, and welcome back. As you see, we're still here. We're hanging out backstage in the media tent right now. And I have here with me the celebrity chef, of course, that represents Jamaica all the way. Yes, because they might chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. The one and only Andre Fells. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. DJ Black Barbie. I love your name, first of all. I love that name. It's very catchy. Thank you. All right. I like your name to Andre. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, um, just, just give us a little flashback of how it was on the show competing. It was it was a journey, you know, to know that coming from Jamaica, I've been here just over two years, I recently migrated, and uh, you know, all that foundation back in Jamaica, the good cooking, the hard work, has paid off, you know. Coming here, I didn't expect to be so accomplished by being on CHOP, and you know, and when I went there, I felt so comfortable, I felt, I felt at ease, because cooking is a part of me, you know, my grandmother instilled those values in me, and just to bring it bring it to here on such a grand stage and compete at such a high level yeah. and won twice as a young Jamaican it is something it's something for all of us to be a proud um yeah. to be proud of so it's been great and the journey is definitely going to continue nice and like i said you are making us proud we're, we're living vicariously through you right now so you're here you compete in the competition we weren't able our viewers weren't able to watch the competition but from what i heard i heard miss jamaica win what happened yeah miss jamaica can't cook <laughs> Miss Jamaica can cook. Um, yeah, I judge. Um, I judge that competition, and again, she was great. You know, she she cooked really good food. Her flavors was really great, and uh, overall, it's a really good dish. So Miss Jamaica won hands down, hands down. Yep. So tell us, what is your favorite dish to make? Wow, that's such a tough question, and everybody has it. But for me personally, I love home style food, like real Jamaican food. So I'm an oxtail, I'm a gungo rice and peas, I'm a carrot juice. Grandmother, where you there? I miss your cooking. She that Jamaica. Those are the food that I love to eat personally. But when I'm when I'm catering to my to my guests, I like to give them my style of cooking, which is just modern Caribbean cuisine, elevate Jamaican cuisine that we have. Jamaican cuisine is great as is. You know, but we can take it to another level and that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to advocate for the cuisine and I'm here to just push the barrier so that's introduce it more on a grand stage. And, and today is Sunday, so you know a Sunday dinner I'm just call out a while ago when they were telling about the carrot juice, like I'm feeling it. So with the appearances here in the US, where next can the fans see you? Well, what's next for Andre? Andre, Andre current right now is working for Miss Lily's restaurant, but in the future, my thing is to create my own company. I want to do my own catering service. I want to be that brand that any event that you're doing with food, I can be a part of it. Whether it's to cater to your kid, um, cater to your wedding, your parties, demonstration, classes, anything to do with food, that's Andre Falls. Look out for it, I'm working on some major projects, and uh, stay tuned. Gonna stay tuned and make sure they do a cookbook too, all right? All right, all right. that's in the works too. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So, big up yourself. Thank you so much for taking the time out to do this interview. And we're gonna be watching your career, all right? And we're gonna see you continue to represent us on an international level, and we like it. So, I want you guys to just keep ready, have it. We'll be right back.